Hello my frugal friends, I'm back and sorry it's been such a long time but sometimes life happens and you just have to go along with it. Thank you to those people that reached out to me, that really did mean a lot. So today I want to talk to you about what a day in the life of a frugal person really looks like. There are so many things that I do daily out of habit that are just normal to me but these things do add up to save a lot of money over time. I've got 11 points that I want to go through with you so let's get on with today's video. The first thing I do is I always start my morning right and this begins with a glass of cold water. Water is so important to us and I feel like we after that sleep overnight we really do need to rehydrate our bodies and I think it's like the best way to start the day. After that I always sit and do some meditation and whether it's meditation or something else that you would prefer I think finding some quiet time every morning is a really important way to start your day off a bit calmer and in a more relaxed way because Frugality, like anything else, begins with our mindsets. So if we can start our days off on the right foot, I think this is a really important step in maintaining your frugality. So the second thing that I do every day is about an hour after I've woken up, I will make myself a cup of coffee. Now I've talked about the price of making coffee at home compared to buying coffee out and this actually adds up to quite a big number over a year. So this is just one of those examples of how a really small item that we think is only a few dollars actually adds up to a large amount over time. So I personally really enjoy the coffee that I have at home. Most days I just have a cup of instant coffee. I don't buy the cheapest coffee, but I do look for bargains of the coffee that I like best. And I really enjoy the coffee that I make at home. So I don't feel like I am depriving myself in any way by making coffee at home every day. So the third thing I do that is frugal, but I also do it for health reasons is I intermittent fast. So I don't actually eat breakfast. However, if I was to eat breakfast, I would definitely choose rolled oats because they are so nutritious and probably one of the best value frugal foods. But for me, intermittent fasting has a lot of benefits, like I said, for health, and it also does keep prices down. So it is a really great frugal habit that I use every day. The fourth thing that I do every day is I work from home. Now, both my husband and I work from home and we are really lucky to be able to do this. And I know this is not something that everyone can do, but it saves us so much money in commute and in clo special clothing that you need for work. So this is something that we I would include in our frugal day. However, when we both worked in offices, as we have done at different points in our life, we've both uh, taken our lunch to work. Uh, we've always taken a packed lunch, which has saved us a lot of money. I was lucky enough to wear a uniform where I was working. My husband didn't have one, but he kind of set one for himself. So he just had two pairs of jeans that he wore and a couple of shirts, which he rotated. So just because you have to go to work outside of the house and if you don't have a uniform, just maybe create a small amount of clothing for yourself, you know, keep, helps to keep the prices down. So the fifth thing that I do each and every day is I make my lunch at home. Now I do like to be organized and know what we are going to have for lunches for the entire week. And this week we have got homemade falafel, which I do have a recipe for on another video and also on my website rowenamarie.com so you can check that out if you're interested. And this week we have made the falafel with Tyson chickpeas which are black chickpeas. They are a little more nutritious and they are also cheaper. And this week that's going to be most of our lunches with a couple of days we're going to have a tofu scramble just to change things up a little bit. So our lunches are very economical and they're also pretty healthy, which I think is an important part of frugality also. 
So when it comes to dinner, if you've been watching me for a while, you will also know that this is something that we do bulk cooking for. Every Sunday, my husband and I get into the kitchen and we make a couple of different meals and then that's our cooking done for the week. Now we both do enjoy cooking, but we don't really want to do it every single night. So bulk cooking has been a game changer for us. So being plant-based, our meals usually revolve around lentils, chickpeas or tofu and we always have a large variety of vegetables in those also. These happen to be very economical ways to eat and if you do want to check out any ideas I have got quite a few videos with some inexpensive meals in them and they're also on the recipe section of my website. I really believe that frugal eating should be healthy eating also because prevention is so much easier and cheaper than the cure. So something that I don't do every single day, but I do do at least a couple of times a week is to check sale prices. I check them for the grocery stores in my area and I also always have a check on Amazon to see if I can get some good deals there, which I often really do. It doesn't take a lot of time to just scroll through different websites on your phone while you're relaxing at the end of a day. And honestly, I've saved so much money in different areas just by doing this one thing. I recently found a bargain on Amazon that reduced my cat's food by another $4 from the already reduced price I was getting there. And this may not seem like a huge amount of money, but when once again, when you add this up over time, it really does make a difference. It's a couple of hundred dollars a year to us. And that's just once again in one small item. Also, there are some times when you're in the grocery store that you will find specials that haven't been advertised. They might be clearances and they might just be reductions to products that are getting closer to their use by date. So there are a few areas of the supermarket that I will always check. And this once again has saved me a huge amount of money. Just yesterday when I was at my local supermarket, I found a bargain on the Tyson chickpeas that we are using for falafel. So a kilo bag of this costs just $1.90. The normal price is $3. So I bought all of the packs they had on the shelf because why not? They last a long time. They weren't close to use by date. They store really well. And it, like, it's something I know we're going to use. I will, however, only buy bulk of any items that I know are things we regularly use. And these are ways that you can end up saving a huge amount of money on your grocery bill because a lot of things in the grocery store have really gone up so much in price as I'm sure you've all seen. So another thing that I do every day is I check our bank accounts to see what money has been taken out of them. And I always check this to any spending I know we've done and check for bills that have come out automatically. This way, I always make sure that there are no errors in the withdrawals and I'm keeping an eye on our balance all the time. And this is just something that I naturally do. It really just takes a minute or two and I think it's an important way to keep track of your money. So the next frugal thing that I do each and every day is that I choose free or very frugal activities to do in my spare time. So my husband and I do like to spend a bit of our free time together and we do this by spending time in the garden, going for walks together, going down to the beach to watch a beautiful sunset, cooking things together and maybe just sitting in front of TV and watching a movie. So for us, it's about having that quality time together and this really doesn't have to cost you anything. I also love to spend time with my family and friends and this doesn't have to cost anything. This can just be having a coffee at each other's houses or sitting down and playing some games. However, there are times where we do like to meet up at a coffee shop and I am happy to pay the $6 for a cup of coffee. And I find because I only do this every now and then, I really do enjoy that and therefore it's worth the money to me. But generally my activities are fairly inexpensive or free. The one thing that my husband and I both like to do separately is gaming. And this, of course, can be something that can become really expensive if you're not careful. And the way that we tend to uh, keep a lid on our spending when it comes to games 
is that I will only play like one game at a time and make sure that I am done with that game generally before I even think about purchasing another one. However, I also do keep a check on prices of games that I'm interested in because if a sale of that does come up then I will purchase it there uh, and my husband is the same. We also are happy to buy used games and gaming is really the only activity that both of us do that costs us any money and we just keep that to a minimum but still get the enjoyment of playing games we really want to. So number 10 is one of the most important parts of frugality in my opinion. It is something that we bring into each and every day and that is we have a financial plan and financial goals and we stick to it. I think trying to be frugal without any type of plan or any financial goals makes it much more difficult because you tend to have that feeling of well what am I saving the money for and I see this in a lot of people around me so my really this is my number one tip to anybody who wants to be frugal is to create yourself a financial plan have some financial goals and focus on those. Now my husband and I talk about this fairly regularly which helps to keep us both motivated and on track and I would suggest if you do have a spouse that you do have regular checkups together and also another important thing I think anyway is that you do have some separate money. Having that money to yourself gives you that feeling that you can buy little bits and pieces that you you know that all of us want from time to time without having to check in on each other and that should be completely guilt free money in my opinion. So the last thing that I do every day is I have fun with frugality. I view frugality as a game. Getting the best deals, saving the most money, I'm only competing against myself and I am always going to be the winner when I am putting more savings into my pocket. Life just doesn't have to be so serious all of the time. If being frugal is a choice that you're making, find ways that you can turn it into a game for yourself and really just have fun with it all. So that's it for today's video guys. I am hoping to get a video out uh, every two weeks and I shall be putting it out on a Saturday evening my time. So whatever that is for you, uh, yeah. Hopefully I can keep up with that schedule. As I said, my life has been a little bit crazy lately but I do miss you all and as usual I want to say thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I do apologize for not being around for a long time but I will be back in two weeks. Take care wherever you are, have a wonderful day or night and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.